Hey, everybody. Hey, I'm Rutka. Oh, I'm Matthew. And this is the duly episode of Raves. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Jason Baggy, featured musician. Featured artist, Chris Dreyer, and the video destroyer. Thank you for meeting me here on my spacecraft. Angelo Stepik. We have featured event, Terrain. Video premiere, now me. Feature skateboarder, Cameron Techmeyer. And finally, Wolves in the Woods, featured musician. Little got a punk girl with it by here. I remembered when I placed a dandy line behind my new girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy this episode of Ramps while we.
premiere featured musician for this Ramps episode. What's going on? What are Thank you doing? You. I'm doing a hip hop spoken word album tape, 100% uh, analog, no studio, basically using the natural street sounds and like stuff that you find around the city as the backdrop. Just the raw, like grimy aspect of being on the dirty tracks. Yeah. yeah just yeah. makes everything kind of like come together. You know, that's what I'm trying to do here with this project. So you do you make beats from the city movement? Like say, say you hear a siren over here or you hear a car honking over there. Do you make a beat out of that? Not necessarily. Like I listen to so much hip hop that I've kind of got a beat in my head yeah. already. All right. So I don't need somebody's instrument. So you always you know, you like, have that beat so it's just more like background style. Yeah, it's just background. Like I can just pop, you know, pop. I love it. You know, like, like, and uh, at random, yeah, just random. I hope people are gonna enjoy it. It's it's gonna be different. People are afraid of change, but maybe that's the change hey, that needs you know, to happen. If you believe in what you're doing, any whack, you know, whatever. I'm gonna put this out. You can hear me. I'm pouring like my soul into this. So when are you planning to release this? I'm actually waiting for some people that are away at the moment. Away. Part of people in my crew. That yeah, I, I really want them on this project before I release it. Even if I'm done with everything I want to do, I'm not going to put it out until I get them on it. The dude I've known for 17 years, he's like my brother. Family, and, right? Yeah, it's fam. There's going to be 90 minutes of just pure, ferocious, just fury. Not even broken tracks. It's not just one after oh. The second that you pop it in the tape deck, just be like, so when this thing, yeah, when this thing finally drops, where and how can they get this? It's, it's recorded on 100% uh, analog. CD? Nope. MP3? Nope. A SoundCloud? Nope. I'm gonna spend the money, I'm gonna get 50 tapes. If you want one, find me. Yeah. What if it pops off real good? Maybe somebody can take the tape and upload it to SoundCloud. If you're gonna get it from me, nah. Or you're gonna have to go to Value Village and go get a Walkman or something. Gonna, you know, like, yeah, like... It's gonna have your fingerprints on it. When yeah, they buy yeah. It. when they get it from me, I'm ID. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. What's up? Uh, this is Jason Baggy, uh, aka Torn Cashmere, Con Creatures, uh, OMT, Bad Pen. You're watching Ramps. Enjoy. Fun job. Thanks for being with us, brother. Thanks, man. Much Can't love. Wait to see this yeah, stuff. yeah, for sure. I'm excited. Hell yeah. And then, and then, and then, and then. We'll check back in with Jason in a minute. Let's catch up with Matthew and see what he's doing. Hi, it's Matthew again. I'm up in the lab with Woofy and the Video Destroyer. Hello. Thank you for meeting me here on my spacecraft. Apollo 69, right? The Apollo 69. <laughs> As you can see, there is a beautiful view of space. I have now been trapped within the video zone for 11 months, and I may never return. But it's okay, because I like it here, man. Good. I'm happy to hear that. So does that mean we're stuck here, too? You guys can probably figure out how to get out. <laughs> I'll drop you off. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I am fiddling with the Video Destroyer. This itself is what I refer to as the Video Destroyer. Although I also, confusingly enough, refer to myself as the Video Destroyer. Alright, so tell me how this is all connected here. Okay, so right now, uh, these three VCRs, their video output is going into here. And from here, they go inside the Video Destroyer. So like, say this is a clean connection. Right. Throughout a circuit board, there's a bunch of these things which uh, work to disrupt or alter it. So, oh, I see. if you can find crazy certain key spots to enter and exit, you can have some fun destroying the video. And you may ask yourself, uh, now, why, why would you want to destroy the signal to begin with? Like, what is the purpose of that? I will tell you, I have no idea, but <laughs> Apollo 69 needs it to fly. And then these coins... Yeah, I was gonna ask about the coins. ...are soldered to wire that is connected to those key points. There's some more VCRs coming into these coin buttons. If you combine them, then you can have some real fun and make some real messy video. So the, uh, the camera right now is just pointed at the projection screen. I've got it tilted a little bit to make a fractal. Because the camera is pointed at the screen and the projector is taking what the camera is giving it, and each time, uh, because it's tilted, each time it goes into the loop, it's affected by that degree of change. Affected by that degree of change. Um, so this is something that, uh, Affecting the video like this is mostly just fun when it's set to music. Because if you get like a like you beatbox at all, man, I do not. <laughs> I don't really either, but I'll, I'll fake it just for the point of effect.
Oh. Alright, brother. Thanks for destroying our video. Hey, thanks for coming to my spacecraft. Hot dog. Where you guys want me to let you off? I don't know, somewhere in a back alley somewhere. Mootsies. <laughs> 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 I'm here with uh, featured skater Angelo Stepic. What's up, guys? How long have you been skating, Angelo? I'd say a total of 12 years, 13 is when I started, 25 now. 2007, I got injured though and was out for about four years. So just kind of trying to stick, get back to it. What's uh, motivated you to stick with it that long? Just the fact that skateboarding is life, man. Having fun, not letting anything get in the way. Progress is slow, just skating, have fun. So, uh, any last words to all those up and comer kids that want to know how to stick with it? Just don't worry about what anybody else thinks. Have fun, do what you want to do, it'll be alright. All right, thanks for being with us. Right, five old grinds. Wash. <laughs> What's up, little me? <laughs> Stick around, watch this. Ramps, back in terrain. We're with Patrick, the director of these phenomenal showcases of art and music. Rock and roll. <laughs> Ramps and ants.
Why the ants? All right, so Train 5 this year, we um, partnered up with 72 Interactive, which is like a digital marketing and design company in town. And them, along with Matt Bogue, one of their, their art director, Bias. came up with a great idea for our theme this year, which is we all build this, which is also a hashtag. It's basically just a metaphor, the ants are a metaphor for teamwork. Every time you buy a beer, every time you buy a t-shirt, every time you buy a piece of artwork from a local artist, you're supporting it. That was kind of the jam. And that's why the heads. That's why the heads. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> so how did Terrain 5 go? This is fifth year, by the way. Fifth year Terrain has been popping up. Yeah, year. it's kind of shocking for us to, to make it this far. It's walking around. five. It's pretty nuts. <laughs> we hadn't really gone upstairs yet. This building, you know, is a five-story building. So this year we, we took it up one whole level, which is basically 10,000 square feet to make a bigger literature park. Threw some swing sets in the mix. Had some hopscotch. You log that. Uh, the Turing Theater, which got a lot bigger this year, um, as far as how many videos we had. Even the screen was much larger. It's 12 bands, a DJ. It's All crazy. the music is right down here, right? Yeah, down on the main stage there. Extended the art. We had over a hundred artists this year. You can check us out at uh, terrainspokane.com as well as weallbuildthis.com. And my actual email address is patrick at terrainspokane.com. So if anybody wants to get down and hang out, let me know. We all need that. It's all community driven. It's all community based. We know. Terrain six. Terrain six. All right, Patrick, that was <laughs> fantastic. Oh, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Ramps. What's up guys, Ramps is at the uh, Now Eat premiere. What do you think about this? It's gonna be badass. A lot of my closest friends are in it, and there's bars in f walking distance of this whole bitch. It's gonna be good. Hope it's good. Who are you excited to see? Everybody. <laughs> Everyone? Every, Every single fun. kid that's in that video, I'm excited to see. Because I've seen them since they were this big. Nice. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. Pain killed it. Sass 50 50 was fucking amazing. Probably one of the best in there. It was diet. Hands down, it was diet. That's all I got. Favorite trick? Uh, probably that 50 50 set did in the French part. Ooh, that was sick. Uh, that 50 50 to 50 50 on Ferris. <laughs> you watch some ramps, we're at the drinkery, keep it up. All right, let's catch back up with Jason. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, because once my pen hits the paper, I release the flavor. Vocabulary varies of cranberries and pomegranate. The current state of my flows keeps moving through waters once stagnant. I rock like sediment and minerals. No speech impediment is evident. 360 degrees, I work miracles within the subliminal of my clack of criminals. You can see my Saul's booty. Quick, pull your pistol, shoot me. Yellow buses won't school me. Students bad at back to react as living in a movie. So-called rappers acting too hard to act unruly. I don't care like an automatrist. I've heard the dumbest shit coming from some hip hop conglomerates who think they're running it. In the path, any weak attempts of uninspired poetical comebacks just make me laugh. So keep it on the hush, no rush. Just don't flush, cause that's the only way your shit's gonna last. I seriously don't give a fuck about fancy things and fancy rings, glamour and glitz, what rip you're rolling in, what click you're rolling with. Faggots in the back alley smoking shit, puffy South Pole jackets, whack them seats with jock like athletic socks. 
the fake sass central twang that seems everyone brings. Who got the tightest spit aviator sunglasses on your shoulder with the hottest chick? I don't care about any of that shit. Just give me a beat to rhyme over, another hurdle to climb over. I just want to live and let me do my thing. The face and walls and clutch and mic has been my only activity or recreation. My independence, my only declaration in it. Nation of millions. There's some tough shoes to fill in. It's ill when you can check my track record on record. Oppressive collective like games that when Gretzky lost. Don't test me, Hoss. I got him like Betsy Ross and go back like the Cola War when Pepsi lost. Hello audience, we're at Pistol Skate Supply with Cameron Techmeyer. He's uh, one of our featured skateboarders in this dueling episode. So Cameron, how long have you been skateboarding? Uh, I've been skateboarding for 14 years. What got you started? I don't know man, got a skateboard one day and just started pushing around. What were my questions? Tell us about like your style. What do you prefer, like street training? I like to skate mini ramps a lot and just kind of like little techie things, manuals and stuff. Tell us something to the kids. Keep shredding. Do I, am I saying something? <laughs> All right, it's on. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. Thanks. Yep. Thanks You're welcome.
everyone, Rams is here with Wolves in the Woods and uh, we're gonna see what they're all about. This is Abe and this is Russ. Half of Wolves in the Woods. Oh yeah, so what is the song about? This tune, it's called Black Grass. It's the first tune that we ever played is Wolves in the Woods. It's kind of a throwback to the old Orange Blossom special, except instead of a fiddle tune, it's kind of a go off on banjo tune. It's more of a melodic, continuous beat type song. It's really fun to play. A little bit of the metal stank on it. So, uh, you guys got any advice for kids or anyone out there that's uh, trying to come up? Practice, 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 and uh, get good at it. You never get a good product out of a poor craft, so. People don't get to where they are by you know, not working hard, putting in the time. And... All right, guys, well, check it out. Check these guys out. Black Bye. Black grass. Black
watch ramps next time. Or else. We're gonna go to your house and tie all your shoes together. We're gonna sneak into your house and steal your babies. We're gonna sneak into your house and pee on all your clothes. Yeah, otherwise we're gonna tie your high heels to your dog mark. <laughs> otherwise we'll put coyotes in your door faces. Or else we'll come to your house and pee on all your jackets. Pee on all your Go to your dad's house. You <laughs> so what's up? Another much. Jason, Maggie. Uh, uh, huh? Hang <laughs> <laughs> on. <laughs> Stop it. The pre-hand of the show. That was awful. It's great. That's a pistol. It's a pie in his pocket. Mother does he get me when he sips his whiskey? Ruska. That boy feeds the fire in his heart with our imperfection. If he's the attack dog, of course. Um, looks friendly enough, but when he gets near one of these video stars, he can't help himself. <laughs> attacking them and sometimes he's actually uh, trying to make love to them. Well, me too. I never looked at anybody. How close are you going to get? Um, I mean, how close can I get? You want me? Can I get this close? Yeah. All right. Free on your glasses. Oh my god, you guys. Oh. Golden shadows. Golden shadows. Oh my fucking god. Took that shit like a champ.